Hey everyone, what it is? It's your girl Caddy. Welcome back to my channel, and I hope that today you're having a wonderful day, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry because I'm just in bed and the lighting is terrible. Be like this sometimes, you know. I'm just being realistic and I'm just out here like making a video for you guys. I'm sorry, couldn't give you guys that quality today, but I'll give you the quality next time. Don't worry, don't worry. Yes, I flip burgers at Burger King. I've been there for some time now. I would say less than a month though. Yeah, less than a month. And you know, I came in there, I was mad confused. Like I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what the heck. I was so confused. I was going left and right, up and down. You know, it was it was difficult, not gonna lie to you. Like I was I was very nervous in the beginning. But then I started, you know, talking to people, I started meeting people. The manager was like, Oh, you know, we don't all we all we need from you is just you need just need to be hard working and stuff like that and i was like bet i can do that ever since i was working like i've been working i've been working so much i've been doing overtime like i'll be getting home around like two in the morning like i'm telling you like because this you know sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do that place has more than one manager there's a couple managers majority of them pretty much like me they're like oh okay you're doing good you're doing good look at you i've been getting all these compliments are you like stop in the beginning what i started doing was cashier in the drive through so i was taking people's credit cards debit cards monies i'm not like shy or anything but i'm just I don't know i can be so i'm just like hey your total is 493 <laughs> then they'll give me the card and i'll be like thank you <laughs> just put it in the machine and then would you like your receipt no i'm just playing i wouldn't do that i just be like hi how are you doing some people would not respond other people would you know we have different personalities out there literally like clients be so funny to me but there's some others they be so sweet and like they be like god bless you and it's just so like it's really nice but others be so complicated but anyways so yeah get the card and everything and then there's a mach um like the thing with the money of course you open it and then you give the change whatever i do that for a whole day and boom and I, the very first days I, I did that because it was the only thing that I really knew how to do. And you pick it up really fast. I think the second thing I did was they taught me how to do shakes because the shake machine is right there. So I learned how to do Oreo milkshake. I learned how to do vanilla, milk, vanilla milkshake, chocolate shake. And yeah, I'm an expert at that now before in the machine like i would just be so awkward because like the um like the milk or whatever it would like come off and like i would everything would just be messy and i would have to clean it up i'm just like oh gosh i hope nobody see this but people would just see me and just like oh but you get better with time it's just little by little you just have to trust the process i have a friend like my friend she works there too so she'd be helping me she'd be like but everyone honestly is so nice and so helpful you're not doing nothing just pretend like you're doing something because that's the thing you never want the manager or anybody you'd never want anybody to see you just chilling or not doing anything and touching on your phone is a no-no unless like you go to the bathroom or something fast forward i was one time in the kitchen and i was with this woman everyone is nice and um they were like yeah so you do this you put the bread like this and there's a specific way that you fold the like the paper inside of the you fold the burger inside of the paper yeah there's a way because it shows like with cheese without cheese with bacon without bacon hamburger cheeseburger so it's so much but it you get you get used to it and everything i'm not gonna lie like some people in the in the drive through they be asking for my phone number for Snapchat. I just be like, mm, <laughs> no. It's weird because it be older people. Like it be people that look like they got kids. They they got a wife and they got a dog and they got like a house and stuff. And I'm not really with that, so don't. But then there's other kids like my age be asking me. I give it sometimes, you know. Why not? Let's be friends. Yesterday I started taking orders. <laughs> 
and my um manager was like don't be nervous stop being nervous it's like okay because <laughs> we're like um what, what would you like oh do you want cheese uh what, what would you like to drink with it okay katarina chill it's not that serious you know it's not that serious i have to change my mindset literally then i started really taking orders i started really putting personality into that i was like welcome they started laughing so much like the manager was like but it was a happy laugh you know it was just like oh like you're so cute type thing and if as long as i'm making the customers happy that's what matters okay i'm there to do that i'm there to make the customers happy and i'm finally like putting I'm getting more and more and more comfortable now in there. I need to figure out the name of this stuff because sometimes people will be like, oh, I want the spicy this, I want this and that. And I'm like, what do what you say? Because when you're uh, taking orders, you have this screen and you have to press in what they want. One thing that's really, really, really confusing is when they say, oh, never mind, I don't want that. It's just like, bro, I can't take that off now. Every time you need to take something off, you have to call the manager because they have to put their fingerprint, they have to put the stuff and they have to like give you the stuff and everything. When when the food is done in the kitchen, they put it in this place, this warm place so that the food stays warm. And then you put it in the bag and then you just give it to the client. I'll be doing that, you know, making sure it's very important to make sure you have everything um, that they asked for inside of the bag so that you don't have any complaints because that's the last thing we want. Every single day is the best day. I don't know how people be like, oh, I'm tired of work. Oh, I don't want to be here. Bro, I want to be there 24 seven. What? I'm getting my money and I'm having fun. What? Like, I just love it. You know? Yeah. You don't stop. It's just a lot of hours you're standing, but I love it. I love my job, period. I just want to be there all the time. I've met a couple people, like, they're so cool. And sometimes the manager will blast out music. You know, the other day, it was just Michael Jackson. <laughs> and it was just on replay. Liberian girl. And it was fun. I don't think I would have it any other way. I mean, I love it. Even if you worked at other places or something like that, you know, and you're used to doing something at a certain way, you have to be open-minded and you have to accept that everyone is different in every business, you know, people do things differently. There's a different fr franchisers and stuff like that. So maybe they want you to do it at another specific way. And what you have to do, you have to do exactly just that. You have to be able to adjust, you know, adjust to it. And whatever they tell you to do, just do it. If you're taking orders now, even if you're scared, even if you're, you know, cause it shows that, it shows that you are open to, you know, doing other things and they like that. They really like when you're, you have to be open-minded, you have to be willing to do, to try other things so that you can succeed in your thing. Focus on what you're doing. If you're doing cashier, if you're doing, um, if you're taking orders, whatever you're doing, just be, don't be zoning out, don't be doing nothing. Cause if say they're asking for a shake, and nobody's doing anything if you see that nobody's doing anything and you're you're free to do that go ahead and do it like just do whatever they like whatever they need you at you need to go just keep your eyes open even if you're having a bad day you know and try that's that can be hard sometimes like balancing what happened outside and what's gonna happen inside just try not to mix those and try to remember that you know you're you're here to work and you're here to keep a good because you're representing not only yourself you're representing the place where you're working at and say if you're having a bad conversation with a client they're gonna be like damn i'm never going back to that burger king because this girl she was so she was rude to me and stuff like you don't want that boo boo so just stay stay uplifted like you be positive you know if you need to step out just for a couple minutes and like scream for a little bit and come back and do it if somebody's trying you turn to the other cheek or something because if you don't realize this i'm gonna tell you people are always gonna be watching you even when you think they're not they are so if they see wow like this girl like she's so happy she's so positive all the time and this and that they're gonna see that and they're gonna like that this is pretty much like um common sense but yeah, just make sure you always have your uniform. Um, 
and make sure you just have it well put. I didn't know that you were supposed to tuck in your shirt, but now I do. Some people don't, but it doesn't mean that you have to do what they're doing. Just do what the manager tells you to do. Like, do what you're supposed to do. And they're going to see that. You're going to stand out. And that's what you want. You want to stand out. You want to be the best that you can be. To be winners, you have to fail sometimes. And with failure, it comes learning you know because we have to learn from the mistake me like when i do something wrong like sometimes i, I never get it the first time trust me like <laughs> in the kitchen oh my goodness this woman kept telling me you put ketchup in here and ketchup and mustard on the burger and i'll be forget i'll be always asking wait so do i do because i'm annoying that's another thing ask questions if you don't know for sure you need to ask because you the last thing you want to do is you know do something that wasn't even supposed to be done so always ask and me i'm so annoying like i always ask wait because this person will tell me a thousand times you put ketchup pretty put mustard and i will still ask oh you put ketchup and mustard until i get it bro until i freaking get it because it just also shows that you really want to get it right you know um but then again, you will get it. You will get it no matter what. So don't worry. Like, just don't worry. Just do your thing. But also, don't over guess yourself. Like, if you know that that's how you're supposed to do it, then just don't don't ask it. Show that, you know, you, you know now. Not be on your phone. Do 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 not. And when I, I, I keep telling you this because I know you will. Because... We just live in a we just live in a world where like you can barely put your phone down for five minutes, bro. And even if you don't have text messages, you are gonna check that phone. Even if you receive no notifications, you are gonna check that phone. So don't put it in the car if you need to. That's what I do. Never, never argue. Never. This is a game. You have to ask yourself, do I wanna be here or no? If you want to, then there's certain things that you have to um I don't know if the word is negotiate. It hasn't happened to me yet, but I've seen it happening to other people. I just, I just stay to myself. Like I just do my work. I just do my thing. Of course I peep. Like I'm always aware of what's going on. Sometimes people be, you know, having arguments and stuff. In whatever situation you are, just try to always remain calm and try to never start nothing. If you're the type of person that just always has the final say or always wants to be right or always wants to you need to cut it out because the managers don't like it i'll ask my managers what can i do is there anything i can do and they'll tell you like and here's an example when you're not doing anything you can go get more ice for the drink machine or you can start sweeping the floors sweep wherever even if it's not even if it's not dirty boo boo just go <laughs> just go <laughs> even if it's not dirty you better, ooh, you better sweep that floor. <laughs> pick up the fries that are not there. Pick up the papers that are not there. Pick up, you know, and there's another box that has kiddo stuff, like the the kids' toys. If it's empty, fill that up, you know, fill it up. Do everything. Um, yeah. Don't be walking around like you're confused, like <laughs> you're just walking around for the sake of it. Don't do that. It's been a couple of weeks. I don't know how I'm going to feel a month from now, two months from now. But I just know that right now, I feel great. I feel good and I love my job. Know your environment, you know, know your surroundings. I'm not saying learn people, but learn people in a way. If you're trying to be friends with them, you know, just, just kind of see people for who they are. Because you don't know these people you know but just don't be so quick to saying so much about yourself if that makes sense like you never know people's intentions like i know that everyone that i work with everyone is so nice but you know i don't know how they are outside of work you know i don't know anything about them <laughs> it's just like hey like can you give me some fries oh i like your shoes yeah you know what's your name but sometimes people will ask for a lot of stuff and you don't necessarily want to give the answers to it because i mean just trying to protect protect yourself you just have to be smart you have to know how to play the game and you'll be fine honestly you'll be fine
I will see you guys on my next video. And I really hope you guys... I hope this video was helpful for anyone that... I promise I'm not crying. I just yawned. Anyone that's in it already already working in uh fast food restaurants or is wanting to work at fast food restaurants you'll have a good experience as well just just remember to be yourself and remember to be smart and that's that on that and so bye i'll see you guys soon